the show. Anybody can get next to me. I'm extra free. Don't project your limitations. I'm making no space in my life for fake placements. So take charge, but only charge for what you make. Never devour yourself if you take it down by hate. I'm late only for a bad vibe. We need to get out of here. What? Someone's following us. What do you mean? Oh, shoot. Can you see anything? No, it's too fogged up. No. Can you get the defroster going? I can't see. Shoot. Riley, just calm down. I can't calm down. Why would somebody be- Help me out! Yes? It's not- Can you see anything? Riley, slow down, okay? I'll show her what happens when you won't let me live my life. Okay. Riley, slow down! Oh, it's a big pour. Thank you. So, a toast to my beautiful wife after a big win today. I am so glad this case is done, and I am so glad you won. You're not just a great litigator, but you're going to make a great partner. The youngest junior partner in your firm's history. After all these years of hard work, I could not be more proud of you. It's finally going to happen, if they know it's good for them. Thank you. Thank you. Not done yet. I'm also proud to call you my baby's mama. I know that you're going to be the best mom in the whole wide world. You're going to raise the best kids in the world. What, more than one? Couldn't you? Can you just please? OK. OK. Um, now, enough of the fancy stuff. Drink up your ginger ale. Let's get out of here. Cheers. Cheers. And now, mm. if I might propose a toast in oh. return. Sure. <clears throat> Seriously, I couldn't have done it without your support. Thank you for all you do, Ben. I'm so happy to have you in my life. It's your first novel. May it be the first of many. OK, cheers. Cheers. Are we done yet? We get out of here? Oh, really? Well, I mean, you've been working on this case for, like, forever, you know? Oh, I don't know. This food is just so good. No. Nope. I'm so no, hungry. I don't, we I don't think so. I think we're done. Check, please. Maybe we should have some dessert. Check, please. Excuse me, yeah. man? No. She's, the chocolate she's souffle? No. Mm. Salmon? Do you want another glass of wine? We're out of here. It's, it's time for us to, uh... <laughs> You're confusing her. <laughs> don't be trying to make you sign anything. You know to call me, right? This is your first novel. This is a big deal for me. I know. You don't want to give away all the rights to your first novel, even if you have absolutely zero leverage. I get it. I get it, Mrs. Junior Parker. I'm serious. They're going to try no, to screw you. No, I got you. it. No, I'm I'm shut up. Okay, okay, shut up. Okay, you know how okay. this works. Hey. Give me everything now. Let's stay calm. My wife, she's pregnant. I don't care. Okay. Everything. Okay. okay, come on. Let's go. Okay, okay. Here, here. Pick it up. I'm not playing around. Stay. <laughs> No, 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 please, no! Hey, please, hey, no. hey, no! No, please! Ah! 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 Come on, honey, be smart! Okay, just... Sorry, Give it to me. Ah! 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 Ah!
Hey, now, let's try and calm down, okay? Everything's fine. I don't feel like everything's fine. We need to check on your baby first, okay? That's the priority. Okay, okay. Could you please walk me through what happened? It's just... It's so scary. Have you heard anything about my husband? Do you, do you know if he's okay? No, sorry. I'm sure he's going to be fine, though. We'll give your husband a once-over. He'll go in for an MRI, and then we'll know more. No, please, I just want to know if my baby and my husband are going to be okay. I understand. You've been through a very serious, very traumatic experience. This isn't a good time for stress. Are you okay? Are you okay? I'm okay. Is everything okay? Baby, it's okay. I'm okay. It's okay. Are you okay? I'm so scared. I thought he was going to shoot us. I'm fine. I'm so, so sorry. It's okay. It's okay. You two definitely need to go home and get some rest. You're going to be fine. But you're both going to have to take care of each other. Do you understand me? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Are you okay? Yeah. Come on. <laughs> Sorry, I just need to say it's okay. It's okay. We're home now. We're home now. We're safe. No! Sorry, no, no, I just... I can't deal with it right now. Let's just... Let's just sit here. Okay, I'll, I'll talk to her in the morning. Okay. okay. Can I get you some tea? No, please. Can you just... Can you just hold me? Yeah, sure. Do you really think you should go? I mean, the doctor said you should you should rest. You know, maybe you should you should stay home and I'm schedule. Okay. okay, not as bad as it looks. I don't know. I I didn't get much sleep either. It won't be long though. I'll come straight home after. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta go. This is big. I um. I asked your mom to come by and check in on you. I also called your office and told them. Yeah. Okay. Well, you go ahead. I guess I'll just work from home today. Okay. Well, your mom will be here any minute. Just take it easy. For me. Good luck.
Robin? Oh, honey. Oh, how are you? I'm, that must have been terrifying. Yeah, it was, it was pretty awful. Let me take a look at you. Oh, no, I'm okay. I'm hey, okay. I just want to get back to normal. Just get back to work. You have been through a terrible experience, and you're pregnant. Can't you take a few days off? I appreciate that you're worried about me, but I, I just think the best thing for me right now is to get back to work. I just think that thing happened. I have a lot of work to do. I know. I know you're my tough little lady. But the least I can do is make you some breakfast, okay? Ah. Yeah. Are you okay, sweetie? <laughs> Have a good day at work. Me too. I'm just so proud of you. The book deal is just, <laughs> it's a really big deal. And I, I know how hard you work for this. And I'm just so happy. Thanks. Gotta run. Okay. I love you. I love you too. Forget something? <laughs> I think I'm just gonna call in and work from home today. I just I'm not ready to to go back here. Yeah. Okay, yeah, okay. I think that's a good idea. get out of here. Let's get some pizza or something. Sound good? Yeah. Yeah, maybe that's a good idea. Just move around a bit. Get out in the world like normal. What's wrong? Let's just go. Let's just go home. Okay, let's just go home. Okay, okay. Okay, come on. So, um, so do you want to talk about anything? What just happened? I don't know what to tell you. I just, 
I saw a guy coming right for me, right, coming right for us again, and I just... It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. What's this? Are you looking at houses? Um, I was just looking at the magazine trying to relax and it just looks so calm and peaceful. Thinking about a lifestyle change. Right, but you know, uh, we've just gone through this. I mean, I don't know if it's a good idea to be making big changes when you're still I mean, like the doctor said, you had a traumatic experience. Well, you know, I have a house, maybe a garden. But now with this, after the mugging, I just sort of, just sort of sped things up for me. Wow, okay. But what about your career? You're about to make Junior partner. You worked so hard for this. You just want to walk away? I just, I don't care about any of that. It's, everything's changed now. I mean, I, you know that I will do anything to make you happy and I can write anywhere. It's just, it's pretty sudden. And I'm a lawyer. I can work anywhere. We, we could just leave. Can't we? Oh, you like that? <laughs> That's nice. Hey. Hey. One sec, I'm just finishing up. Hey, Robin. How's it going? Good, yeah. <gasps> it's full of seeds. <laughs> yeah. For your garden. Yeah? So I was thinking this could be a really good thing for all of us. Are we really going to do this? <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Okay. <laughs> Have you been looking? Oh, wow, you have. What do you think about this one? I like that one. Yeah, cheek. yeah. Wait. You like it? <laughs> yeah, there's plates in there. OK. Yeah, okay. no, we got it all. Thanks, Mom. There he is. Yeah. You're I'm great. just so sad and happy at the same time. Oh, well, don't worry, we're not far. It's only an hour and a half. You can come visit. <laughs> you won't be able to keep me away. Mm. Precious cargo.
What do you think? Feels good, right? Yeah. Hello? Hello. We just wanted to come say hi. Uh, hi. Uh, I'm Sharon. This is my husband, Guy. We're your neighbors. Uh, right across the road. Oh. <laughs> we just wanted to stop by and introduce ourselves. I hope we're not interrupting your unpacking. We know how long it always takes. Well, we haven't moved in years. Well, decades, really, <laughs> but we can imagine. Uh, yeah, uh, come on in. <laughs> We, uh, we, we brought you a little, uh, housewarming gift. Oh. It's a pie. pie. Sharon made it. But I grew the strawberries. Well, garden. Well, well, when you're feeling caught up, no pressure. Yes, well, we've just been taking a quick break, actually. I'm Robin, by the way, and this is, this is my husband, Ben. Oh, oh. Robin, nice to meet you. So nice. Hey, nice. Hey, how are you? Nice to meet you. <laughs> ben, guy. Hi, hi, guy. <laughs> you know, we were peeking out at you as you moved in, and Sharon said to me, she said, you know, they look like a real friendly couple. Well, it's so nice uh, to actually get to meet our neighbors. Where are you coming from? Uh, just the city. <laughs> well, you came to the right town. It's like, oh, it's like a little fantasy world here, hidden away <laughs> from the rest of humanity, and we've been right here the whole time. You're gonna love it. What brought you? Well, um... <laughs> oh, my God. Are you...? Yeah. Oh, that's wonderful. Congratulations. Thank you. Oh, God. Yeah, yes, congrats, my dear. Congratulations. Well, how far along are you? Sharon. Well, shush, 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 shush. Do you know, do you know, are you having a boy or a girl? Sharon. It's yeah. okay. We actually, we don't know yet. We figured, you know, we could always find out later, but at the moment, we just, we weren't sure if we wanted to know. Well, sorry. It's none of our business. It's just that Sharon gets, <laughs> she just loves babies. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I just get so excited. <laughs> You know, in this city, we didn't even know our neighbors, not even on the same floor. No, we didn't even talk to them in the elevator. Yeah. <laughs> well, it, it's going to be different here, I can guarantee you. Anyway, we should get going and let you keep moving in. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, enjoy the pie. Thank, Thank you. you so Thanks much. for stopping by. Nice to meet you. And, and, and if you need anything, I mean anything, just, we're just across the road. Okay. <laughs> wow. They're nice. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the country, huh? Mm-hmm. Mm. That was so good. Oh my right? god. This is next level. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess we'll have to figure out how to start a fire. Mm-hmm. Oh. Sure is quiet here. There's no city noises at all. Yeah, it's gonna be weird. No cars, no sirens. Sharon and Guy are gonna be the closest people nearby and I'm pretty sure they're not getting up to much. <laughs> they're so nice. I know. But, oh, did you smell Sharon's perfume? What? No? Mm, oh my lord, I thought it was over the nausea. It was making me so queasy. Oh. I still just cannot deal with certain smells. Oh, that's just Junior at it again, huh? Oh, he's a boy now? Yeah, well, I'm not calling my future baby it. That would be so weird. <laughs> she kicked. She did. Uh, hello? Hello? Hi. Hi. Um, can I help you? About uh, possibly coming in? Yeah, hi. I'm Amanda. <laughs> I'm sorry, I thought you were coming next week. I'm so out of it, I don't even know what day it is. <laughs> I know what you mean. I just slept the soundest I have in. I don't know how long. It's so quiet here. I feel like 10 years younger. Well, you look it. You look great. I can't believe oh. you're pregnant. You're barely showing. Oh, please. What? Look at me. <laughs> Are you sure? Is that going to be OK? I just I wanted to be upfront about that, because I know it's not like ideal for hiring. Are you kidding me? 
It's not every day that we get an offer of service from somebody from Lynch Hartley Matthews. And I could use all the help I can get. You would not believe the amount of work that this little town generates. And it is so hard to find good help, and I know literally everyone. Okay. <laughs> well, right now, I'm just sick of moving. It might sound crazy, but I think I just need to get my mind on something else, you know? Well, pick a chair, any chair. Okay. It's pretty dull compared to what I read on your CV. Mostly we do wills and trusts, property transfers, small civil stuff. Just keeping this town running. Honestly, it sounds perfect. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> well, you are the expert here now. But why don't you get started on this? Okay. I'm OK. I got this. <laughs> sorry, sorry, I got it, no problem. But I'm here, okay? If you need anything, any questions about anything, anytime. Well, what about you? You got a man at home? In this town? Please, <laughs> not a chance. <laughs> I do have two cats, though. Oh, small town cat lady, huh? It's quite a catch. Lead me to the man of my dreams. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was just finishing a thought. How did it go? It was great. Yeah? Yeah. Oh. Did Sharon come over again? Uh, no. I've been here all day. No one's come by. Okay. Really, I've been upstairs writing. Doors are locked. Okay. Well, let's just make dinner. I'm hungry. I'll cover up the smell. Okay. Robin. Hi. Hello, I am Dr. Frazier. How are nice you? Nice to meet you. Well, it's very nice to meet you. Well, what can I tell you? Uh, I have delivered just about every baby in this town, and they're all doing fine so far. <laughs> <laughs> now, we were, uh, we were very glad that you moved into our little hamlet. But let, come on, let's talk about you. Have a seat here. How are you doing? Things considered. Well, can you, uh, can you tell me what that means in a little more detail, please? Well, I was doing fine, everything going smoothly, and then I got mugged. It was pretty bad, and um, I've had some, I'd say I'm still recovering, but I'm doing a lot better, other than still just a little nauseous now and then. Oh, Robin, I am so sorry to hear that. It's certainly not ideal for someone in your uh, situation. Now, a traumatic event like that is exactly what we want people to avoid during pregnancy. We certainly can't underestimate the stress that it can cause. But let's have a look and make sure everything is okay if you want to just swing around there. So tell me, uh, where are you living? Oh, we, uh, <clears throat> we live right up by, um, I don't really know how to describe it. On Plainview Street, our closest neighbors are, are Sharon and Guy. Oh, oh, uh, up past the oaks. Yeah, that's beautiful. And uh, Sharon and Guy, yes. I've known them since, since way back. I take a deep breath. Very good. Robin! Robin! Oh, hi, Sharon. How did the appointment go? Oh, um, everything's good. Nothing. Oh, I, I'm, I haven't been nervous. Oh, well, anyway, I'm glad you took the time to get a checkup. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I don't come into town enough. Ever since the Sampsons, oh, they lived in your house before you. 
they asked us to pick up groceries for them, run a few errands. It was so sad when they had to sell. We tried to keep them eating right, but they just wouldn't listen to us. They ended up in a home. Well, that would never happen to Guy and I. We're too healthy. Oh, but if you ever need a ride into town, I'd be so happy to. Oh, thanks, but I, th I think oh, we're okay. Really, it's no trouble, honestly. Oh, we really hardly get out anymore, except for keeping an eye on yeah, you guys. This is my, my car, Sharon. Oh, are you headed home? Yeah, I think so. Oh, don't you need to do some more shopping? No, I was, um, oh, you wait here. My car's just, oh, oh, it's just around the corner. Hang on a sec, I'll lead you home. Oh, no, that's okay. Yes. I know, I know how to get home. See you later, then. I didn't mean to scare you. What are you, what are you doing here? Foraging for mushrooms. Yeah, here in the shade they grow pretty good. Over at our house, not so much. <laughs> not having much luck tonight, though. You know, you never know when they're gonna pop up. I'll show you when I find some. No, oh, I don't don't think I'm supposed to. Oh no, I'm sure it'll be fine. I, I use them in everything, in omelets, casseroles, e even some teas. Uh, people usually think that mushrooms are either edible or magical or poisonous, but sometimes they can be medicinal. I mean, they're really amazing. Uh, you can take some if you feel sick, take some at different times of the day, take some to help you sleep. Uh, <laughs> sometimes they'll even conk you straight out. <laughs> hey, I'll see. Sounds good. <laughs> you have a good night now. Oh, it looks like you're mostly finished unpacking. Yeah. See you now. Bye. Bye, have a good day. What in the world? Oh, wow. What do we have okay. here? <laughs> they smell pretty good. You wanna try that? Okay. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh my God. Is it good? Oh my God. I'm living for this muffin. <laughs> it's so good, here. Amazing. Okay. Mm. Enjoy those. I will. I'll see you tonight. Love you. Love you. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Mm. Okay. Uh, how did you get in? Uh, well, the front door was unlocked, so I just came in and put some fresh melons in the fridge. You know, melons for the melon. <laughs> I, I thought you guys were out. I was, uh, was pretty sure I locked it. No, it just opened right up. <laughs> well, enjoy. Oh, these are just beautiful right now. <laughs> okay, thanks.
Uh uh, I'm not taking them back. None of the notes were to me. They're all addressed to you, Robbie. This is really starting to weird me out. Yeah, I know. Yesterday I came downstairs and Guy was just standing here in our fridge like it was perfectly normal. What? Why didn't you tell me? I, I didn't want you to worry. He, he, he said the door was unlocked, but I swear I'd locked it. This is just crazy. Love you. Hi, Sharon. Hey, Robin. How are you? Cargo. I just wanted to bring all this back to you and say thank you. Everything's been so fresh, so tasty, amazing. Oh, no problem. Of course, that's what neighbors are for. But please, we, we really love the little treats, but we're just not used to this kind of thing. Oh, no, it's not a problem. We've got nothing better to do but take care of you and the baby. And it's all organic, no pesticides. <laughs> Guy's a genius. A little <laughs> obsessive, too. <laughs> <laughs> Staying healthy has been our goal. But now, I mean, well, you really need to be eating right. The garbage they sell at those grocery stores, you never know what you're feeding your baby. Well, thank you so much for everything. Of course. Well, let's go up to the house. Come on. OK. Nice seeing you, Robin. Bye, Bye guys. Bye, honey. Look, Sharon, I know things are different out here, but I just, I really need to set some boundaries, okay? Please? Yes, of course, <laughs> I understand. Guy even let himself into our house. He was in our kitchen, Sharon, that's not okay. Well, we'll just check in on you and the baby every now and then, see if you need anything, okay? No, please just... Well, speaking of which, I understand you've taken a position working with Amanda Foster. Oh, yeah. Man has been amazing. Well, I don't think you should be putting yourself through that kind of stress. It's not good for what's happening you know, inside of you. Well, if that's what the big city folks do, why did you even move out here? Well, I'm sorry, but I think it's absolutely fine, and so does my doctor. Well, maybe you should see another doctor. I don't think Dr. Fraser... No. You know what, Sharon? I'm perfectly capable of making my own decisions about my own life. Please, just listen. No, you listen to me. It's none of your business, so stay out of it. How's it going, Mama? I'm fine. How are you? You feeling okay? You can go home if you need to, you know? No, no, no. It's not, it's not that. I just... Our neighbor, Sharon, she's just so... I don't know if she's just a lonely old lady or what, but she's just always in our faces. Like, she has nothing else to do but be constantly neighborly. It's just wearing on me. Well, that's... I mean, they're totally friendly and everything, but it just comes across as being pushy. And the other day, Ben came downstairs, and Guy was just standing in our kitchen. Spooked him, I could tell. Spooked me, too. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. What's that supposed to mean? I thought you knew everyone in this town. I mean, yeah, but... <laughs> Come on, no secrets. Tell me. It's a long story. Growing up, I was the same age as Guy and Sharon's daughter, Riley. We were basically best friends. And, you know, it's the typical story. We were inseparable until one day we weren't. By high school, Riley was really wild. She started hanging out with older boys. And you know how it is. She was drinking before everyone else in the grade, and sometimes, I think, taking a few pills here and there. We just went separate ways. By this time, we were barely hanging out anymore, not even at school. Riley just really fell off the map. 
She was partying really hard and I, I don't know. Maybe she just didn't know what else to do. Near the end of the first semester, she called me. Super late. I didn't pick up. She left a voicemail crying, saying that she was pregnant and that her parents had thrown her out. A month later, Riley died in a car accident with her boyfriend. And they couldn't save the baby. People just change. No, I feel like, I feel like I was her last hope and I let her down. Like I, she just... So they lost their baby girl and now they're just living out their lives. Hmm. All alone, out here in the country. <gasps> What's that? Sounds like. See anything? No, no, just raccoons. Yeah, they were uh, probably trying to get in the trash cans and then the lid fell. Are you sure? Yeah, there's nothing out there, just noise. <laughs> and then we show up, and they've really been nothing but friendly this whole time. I just feel so bad for them. Yeah. It's so sad. I think I should apologize to Sharon. What is it? What is it? What's going on? What is it? Are you okay? Are you okay? It's okay. It's okay. I just have the worst nightmare. Shh. No, I know it's not real. It's just a dream. Oh, you don't understand. Okay, well, tell me. You know, when you're in this place, but it's different. I was, I was sitting on a couch, reading something. And all of a sudden, I saw these shadowy figures with, with pitch black hoods. And they were creeping in through the window. 
The glass wasn't even there. They were just... They were crawling s straight through. Headed right for me. I couldn't yell. I couldn't scream. I was just frozen. And they were... They were coming to take my baby. Oh, honey. They were coming honey. to steal my baby. Honey, it's okay. Shh. I couldn't move. Like, I was paralyzed. I could barely even breathe. It's okay. We're okay. Okay, we're safe now. Sharon. Robin. Hi. How are you? Hi, Sharon. I am I'm so sorry about what I said the other day. Oh, don't worry about it. I know you guys need your space. I respect that. Oh, thanks, but I, I really am. Of course. I know exactly how you feel. Let's just blame it on the hormones, okay? Morning. How are you? I'm all right. How are you, guys? Oh, good as always. I brought you a little present. Oh. These are wild mustard. My dad used to chew them like this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Strong, but it'll help with the nausea. Trust me. <laughs> oh, whoa. Uh, okay. <laughs> I'll give it a try. But I, I got to get to work. So. Oh, and congratulations. Dr. Fraser told us you're expecting a girl. He what? It's wonderful news. I'm calling it. It's late. Let's go home. Mm, I'm so close. <sighs> Come on, Mommy. You shouldn't be working this much anyway. Oh, this is so easy. I've only got 15 minutes left. Why don't you go home and I'll lock up? You sure? I can stick around. Don't be silly. I'm a grown woman. Go on. All right, then. I will see you tomorrow morning, but don't work too hard. I won't. Good night.
Robin? Is that you? Robin, are you okay? Hi. Mom, yes, everything's fine. Sorry, I just... I dropped the phone. You didn't answer when I said your name, so I, I thought something had happened. How was work today, huh? It was fine. I just stayed a little late to finish up the brief. Oh, come on. You're supposed to be taking it easy. You told me you'd take it easy. Robin? Are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Sorry. No, I'm just driving home. Everything's... nothing's wrong. I worry about you, you know? I'm fine, Mom, okay? I'm, I'm fine. Good morning. Okay. Okay, thanks. Yeah, I'll, um... Okay, bye. Who was that? Who was it? All right. Look, I'm sorry, hon. You've been through a lot. We both have. Okay? I know you're tough, but something's bothering you. I can tell. I don't like hearing about this stuff from your mom. Well, then why are you talking to her? She called me. She's worried. We both are. Okay. Hey. Yeah. I get a little freaked out sometimes. I think... I think maybe it's just the hormones. Or maybe I'm just still on edge from... from what happened, especially if I'm alone. And... and that makes total sense. I hear you, but please, I want to hear it from you. If you're ever feeling freaked out, let's just talk about it, okay? I'm trying to talk about it, but no one takes me seriously. I feel like I'm being followed. Like, like I have eyes on my back all the time. Robin, no, I see, I'm not just being paranoid and crazy. I'm, I'm not trying to say you're crazy. I'm just saying, what if this is, you know, what if this is part of your process? No, what? No, this is not part of my recovery process. I, I know I might be overreacting, but I feel like I'm being watched. And I know for a fact that everyone's talking about me. You and my mom, Sharon and Guy with Dr. Fraser, they said that he told... He told them the gender of our baby. And now I come downstairs and you're having a secret discussion about me. So who's not talking to whom, huh? You're right. I'm sorry. I didn't want it to come across that way. We both just if you don't feel comfortable talking with us. You want me to see a therapist? In this town, where everyone talks to everyone? Hey, I'm trying to help. And honestly, I feel a little bit nervous just leaving you here when I go to the city to meet with my editor. I want to make sure you feel safe. Can I at least ask your mom to come stay with you when I'm gone? Yeah, sure. OK, that would be nice. Yeah, thank you. I was wondering if you were free for a visit. Maybe in the next few days, that would be great. Uh, please call me back. Hey! Good morning. 
How's it going? It's fine. Um, is everything okay? What? Yeah, everything's fine. It's just the door was unlocked when I got in this morning. Hi, Robin. Your mom has confirmed she'll be coming down for a couple of nights to stay with you while I'm away. What? Oh, yeah, sorry. I don't know. I just... I just wanted to get home. I, I realized all of a sudden it was Ben's last night. He's headed to the city for a big meeting with his publisher. Mm -hmm. He's gonna be away for a few days, and here I was working late, so I just got up and ran. I'm sorry, it won't happen again. Please lock the door. You do know we have big, important, secret documents here, right? I just wasn't thinking. Sorry. <laughs> no. But, hey, really, um, you okay? You know you can talk to me, right? Well, honestly, I, I am feeling a little jittery. Ben said I should probably see a therapist. Oh no, why did he say that? I've been f having some bad dreams, feeling caged in, suspicious of everyone. He's worried. After the attack, the move, I just feel, it just all adds up, you know? Yeah. I know exactly how you feel, and you can't just bottle it up. No one can. You, you gotta talk to us or someone, or you'll just explode. But I'm here, whenever, wherever. I know, thank you. But hey, my mom's coming to stay with me while Ben's gone to keep me company. Do you wanna come over and meet her? Maybe for dinner tonight? She is an amazing cook. Oh my God, I would love to, but I have plans tonight. Oh. But how about I come over tomorrow morning for a quick coffee before work, or tea in your case, and I'll check with the boss and yeah, we can take a late morning. <laughs> <laughs> I love your earrings, by the way. Oh, thank you. You. Oh, I'm Carla. I'm Robin's mother. Oh my. Well, so nice to meet you. I'm Sharon, their neighbor. Well, it's nice to meet you. <laughs> I heard Ben was out of town tonight. Mm -hmm. I was just bringing Robin some dinner. I've been helping bring them good, healthy food for a while now. I'm always keeping an eye on them from just over there. And on the baby. Oh, well, thank you. I, I was just making up some dinner myself. Oh. Oh, really? Mm. Would you like to join us? Uh, Robin should be home any second. We could all sit down together. Oh, well, that would be wonderful. Wine? Oh, no, thank you. Oh, it smells so good in here. What are you making? It's... I love to cook, <laughs> but I usually just have to stick with what my husband grows seasonally. Oh, Guy grows almost all our own food himself. Mm. And so we really do have to live with variations on a theme, and until the seasons change, at least. But it's healthy, totally organic. Oh, that's very important. I'm a nurse, so I've seen the worst of what bad lifestyle can do to people's bodies. I couldn't agree more. Oh. It's the lifestyle choices. Oh, could we pop this in the oven real quick? Oh, yeah, sure. Here.
Sharon? Hi, how are you? I'm, uh, I'm good. Um, oh, I ran into your mother as she was getting into her car. She asked me to let you know she had to run into the city. I didn't quite catch the details, but she's hoping she'll be home either late tonight or early tomorrow morning. Okay, well, she didn't text me or anything. Well, she asked me to let you know. She even had started some things cooking, so I came in and took over from her. I thought I could take her place and stay over with you. I mean, she told me Ben's out of town, too. Yeah, yeah, he's got a meeting. Great. Well, I'll just keep puttering around. You put your feet up, I'll take care of everything, and then we'll have a nice, healthy dinner, okay? Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna call her real quick. Oh, no need. Carla's probably focused on driving. Uh, well, listen, why don't you come and lend me a hand? No, I'd really rather just call her. I'm telling you, everything's fine. Not you, my mother, so... Would you mind? Was it? I'm sorry if I was trying to help. I know everyone can use a little help sometimes. I... Well, I'll just, um... I'll head on home. You have a good night here. On your own. I, I'm, I'm sorry. No, I... no. Go ahead. Call your mother. Just don't forget the casseroles in the oven. Hi, you've reached Carla's voicemail. Take it easy, sweetheart. Think of the baby. Wait. Where's my mom? Where's my mom? Where's my mom? Ah! Let me out! You're in pain! Let me out! Ah! Ah! Thank you. 
Hello? Can anyone hear me? Amanda, how are you? Hi, Sharon. Uh, no, no, I haven't. Why? Is everything okay? I don't know. I was supposed to have coffee with them this morning, and I just went over there, but there's no one. Uh, the house is empty. Have you or Guy seen them at all? When was that? Um, oh, why don't you come on in? We'll figure this out. Yeah. It's been so long. Yeah. Um, uh, what's going on, guys? Oh my god, is that Robin's? you to be uncomfortable. Mm. Do you want to lie down on the bed? We can do that. Oh, I'm sorry, but you weren't cooperating. So now you have to behave. I'll take the gag off if you promise to be good. Okay. Okay. Okay now. No yelling, hmm? <laughs> are, you, are you okay? Do you feel okay? Is the baby okay? Okay, I heal fast. Just relax. There you go, sweet. We're gonna make it all better. This is a nightmare. I'm dreaming. This is a nightmare. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. I'm home! Hello? Robin? Listen to me, what happened? Uh, Where's Robin? Uh, Robin, I, I, I didn't see Robin. He's making dinner and, and your, your, your neighbor came by, Sharon. And I don't remember. Okay, it's okay. I, mean, I'm, it's I, must, okay. I must have gone back into the kitchen. But, and I just woke up. Okay, <laughs> okay, sorry. it's okay, it's okay. Okay, so Sharon came over. What did Sharon? Where's Robin? Sharon. 
Oh my God. What? What, Ben? Ben. Okay, you stay here. You call 911. You okay. stay here and you tell them exactly what you told me. Okay. Honey, where are you going? What about the body guy? I don't know. I didn't. Uh... <sighs> you watch her. I'll go up and take care of it. I'm locking you both in here so there are no more accidents. <sighs> I know Sharon made you do all of this. I know about Riley. Amanda told me. I can't imagine what you've been through. And I, I know. I know you, you both must just wish you could take it all back. Sharon. Something snapped. She went crazy, guy. Any mother would. I know that now. It's like a nightmare that you can't wake up from. It's just, it's just too much to take. She, she needs help, guy. I can see it in her face. She's just being shattered over and over again every day she doesn't have her baby. And if, if you'll just, if you'll let me go, we can, can help her through it. We can do it together. <laughs> you don't understand. Sharon was there that night. She wanted to, she wanted to talk to Riley. But she saw it all happen, she saw everything, and there was nothing she could do to save our daughter, our granddaughter. Hey, what are you talking about? Don't you understand? She followed her that night. She just wanted to help her daughter. She saw the whole thing. Oh my God. She never told me. Sharon needs to talk to someone about what she saw, about what she did. 
We can help her. <laughs> she won't listen to me. See, I told her to go that night. I said it was something a mother could help with. What if I'd gone? No, no, no. no, it's not your fault, guys. No. No, it was my job to protect them. To protect my baby. My girls. I failed them. I failed Sharon. But now... Now we got a second chance. We're gonna take care of you and the baby. And we'll all be happy again, Riley. Don't you see? <laughs> Jared is gonna be so happy. You'll see. <laughs> She's gonna be the best grandmother in the whole world. <laughs> It's okay. I can hear them through. 